Hey guys, welcome to another video series of Shout Me Loud. And in case if you're not aware, I'm doing a new series where sharing a lot of things that I've learned in past few years, growing Shout Me Loud from one person company to an organization. Now we are five people, a remote company, and now it's all journey. It's a beautiful journey. And in this video series, I'm sharing, you know, some of the things which I've learned throughout this journey. And even if you're a blogger, a freelancer, a digital marketer, all these tips will probably help you to start growing in a bigger direction. So in this video, I'm sharing what all softwares we are using right now in our remote company to communicate, to share data, to engage. If you have a team of more than one or two people, there are a few softwares that you can use and will improve your productivity by a great extent. So with that, let's get started. The first one is Slack. Slack, think of Slack as an advanced version of Skype and an integration of Skype plus email. Not typically email, but that's how they marketed it. When we started using Slack two years back, it became an integral part of our company and it is still now. Slack is available on desktop, on mobile, and it integrate with a lot of software. So what does Slack do? So let's say you have a team, you have a person, you have a teammate who is in somewhere, you know, you have a remote team. So you people can always chat, you can share file instantly, you can also make voice call. The best part, a lot of features are free. We are using the free version of Slack and from last two years, it's working out great. It has actually improved our communication by great extent and it doesn't matter if you're a blogger even if you're not a blogger as long as you have a company of two or three people even if you're sitting in one you know room like this or if you're sitting in a distant place start using slack it will change the way you work the second thing which we use is zoom now zoom is basically a skype alternative but a much smarter version we use zoom for our team meeting every tuesday we have a team meeting where all the people uh, invite them using Google Calendar, send them an invite with a link to, of the Zoom tool to join us for a group video call. It's a 40 minutes call where we share our ideas like what, how our last week was, what's our plan for next week, what's going in our life, and everything that you know a group of people do. Now the next one is Trello. I think it's been three years we started using Trello. We use our content management basically from the part to where we decide the topic, where the part when it's written. So think of Trello as like board where you have different board for different things. So let's say we have a board for blog topics. Now once the topic is decided, a writer picks up, it goes to writing tab. When writing is done, it goes to editing tab. When editing is done, it goes to graphics tab. And when that's done, it goes to another tab which we call promotion tab so that's just for content writing similarly you can have you know a roadmap also we use trello for different purpose mostly for roadmap when we work on a new project we put everything on trello board and this is a concept that you would see in a lot of tv series if you see silicon valley you would notice in that read about trello i think it will help you in your personal life as well as your professional life now the fourth one is google docs and calendar we have been extensively using it for everything. So let's say if I have a meeting with anyone, be it our team member, be it anyone from outside, Google Calendar is the tool that you should be using. Send them an invite, they get an invite, you become more accountable for that time. Moreover, when you have time planned for the next few days, few months, you know like there's something happening in your life, it actually helps you anchor down. It actually helped me and probably that's why I'm sharing that with you. Start using Google Calendar for managing your all the meetings and the things that you have to do in the next few days or months. It will help you a lot. Google Docs and Google Spreadsheet. That's what we use for sharing things among us. We use it extensively for everything that we do. We use Google Docs and Spreadsheet. Apart from that, we use Dropbox for file sharing. Dropbox is where you know most of our files, for example, for the videos that we make, we have intro and outro file that's on the Dropbox and shared among the team members so that anybody who needs a file, they don't have to ping anyone. Logo, graphics, everything was on Dropbox, shared among the team member, and that make it very easy for anyone to access the data. Now let's say if a brand reaches out to us and says like, hey, I need your media kit or I need your logo and anything, anyone from the team can actually just share the Dropbox folder link and it's all done. The point is like whatever tool that you use, you need to think like how you're spending your time now 
and how this tool will help you to save your time that's your first thing and also to improve your workflow now all these tools that i mentioned helps you to do exactly that now last two tools those are very important the first one is dashlane now we realize that security is a major concern when you're working in a team maybe you're tech savvy maybe you're smart you know how to manage your security your computer is safe but what about your team member do you educate your team member about the security about the potential risk of when they are working online so that's where we started implementing this password manager we use this password manager called dashlane the major reason of using it is number one it improves your security number two if i have to share a password with any of the team member i can do that with dashlane and let's say if the team member leaves and i have to revoke his access i can do that again with dashlane and when you share the password you have the option that the team member will never see the password which is pretty good like especially if you are hiring a freelancer or you're working with somebody that you don't want to show the password but share the password that's where dashlane comes into the picture now the next which i'm still exploring and something i think i'll be implementing in next couple of months it's called crm and this one is by zoho it's zoho one and there's another one bitrix 24 Now this last two tools I am actually trying out so please you need to do your own due diligence before using it all the other tools you can definitely use it because I have used it I've been using it and they are great so here we are using it for managing our email basically to put a system so that we don't miss out on important emails be it an ad sale be it for the media collaboration be it for interviews whatever emails are those they should be put on a crm convert them into lead then add a value to them it's an amazing concept for an individual i always thought like you know okay this kind of thing sh- probably it's not for us but when i saw the potential of a crm i realized like it's something that we should be using the only challenge is getting used to the new system and all this tool that i have told you the only challenge you will face is to getting used to them My recommendation is implement one of them use them for 3 days extensively watch some of the videos to see how other people are using how other people are using slack in their organization trello zoom when you see the potential when you see the possibilities that this software this tool enables you then you know whatever your working style you can integrate those using those tools and make most out of it well here we are these are the some of the tools that we are using right now there might be some other tools that we are using so i have this blog post which i keep updating you can refer to that you can find the link in the description and i will see you in the next video with some more tips that i'm learning while running this organization bye bye this is harsh mm-hmm.